What is up, everybody? We're back for episode two of our renovation. Today, we got our windows and walls squared off, and we're getting started with our booth. That'll go right here in this area, and we'll have a nice little dinette. Ain't that right? Yeah, it's actually episode 10 of the bus build, but episode two, two of, the of the renovation. If you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Okay, so I just went and picked these up. I've got 16, 20, 24, 18, and 22. And I'm going to put these together real quick. Okay, after like two or three hours, I finally have this piece in. It took some trial and error, I will say. Tomorrow, I'm going to do that one. It should run a lot smoother since I know how to do it. But it looks pretty good right now. And then the table will go in the middle. It'll be foldable. It'll have a pullout. Yeah, so it's going to look really good. Right now, we're cutting out our slats for our booth table so it can slide out into a four-person booth. out this piece of plywood and I'm about to screw it in and then this right here is able to slide out we just have to add the front facing part for example it's still open so we have to add uh, you know the pull out part of it and then we will show you guys what we do from there <laughs> later we had thanksgiving yesterday how did everyone's thanksgiving go did you eat good did you go to family's house did you go to, on vacation did you enjoy the day we went to families and enjoyed the day and ate good um but today we're getting back to the grind and finishing and we're finishing these we're trying to put the back on and then we're gonna leave the front like that so that the cushion can sit in the two by twos and then it'll make more sense later but then we'll finish the side and paint it hopefully probably tomorrow um so anyways i'm gonna stop rambling and let's get going idea of placing I'm gonna screw in to those and then cut out a hole for where the door is gonna open this might be a stupid idea because after one use I'm thinking it's probably gonna give up on me so I'm trying to figure out how I can keep it from you know flexing obviously it's already starting to flex um, it's not really strong enough and I can't screw from the top in I would go like this sure what I was talking about that's kind of what I was trying to explain um and this is cheaper than buying a whole thing of plywood this was really cheap and then these were free so this was like 21 dollars free instead of paying like 35 for a thick piece but it looks pretty good I'm gonna put the door on I'm gonna screw these in and see how it sits I'm not gonna lie I'm really proud of myself for this one only because I didn't have any tutorial to watch and I didn't know how people made this still storage unit while having it slide open, but ah, I can still sit on it. It's sturdy, I'm not worried about it. Before I show you guys the finished product of the chairs, finished product, well, they're not painted yet, but um, I'm gonna stain, not stain, I'm gonna finish this wall so I've gotta sand it and then put another layer of polyurethane 
I'll show you guys what I used. I have to sand this wall because we already did one coat. So I've got to do another coat. And it's this polyurethane clear satin. And I just use a big brush like this to smear it on. tabletop and they're really like it's a short tabletop but I'm gonna make it wide but I'm just using this extreme heavy duty glue with <laughs> some shelving bracket. I'll have to link it down below what I used, but they're not screwed in yet and it's already really stable. Um, it's just a little shaky obviously because it's not screwed in, but really stable if that, you know what I mean. But it's looking pretty good. I'm actually really excited. I had one idea where it was like just one beam and then one of the shelving brackets and Having just one wasn't stable enough, so I saw one guy and he did two of them, and I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that? But this actually worked, and it was really cheap. It was only, I think these were $10, and then this was $11. Better than spending $62 on the one that I wanted. But I'm really happy with it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I stain it. I'm just not sure if I'm going to stain it. Um, and then I'm also about to show you what it looks like in couch position. I don't have my tripod in here, but I will show you what it looks like. So the purpose of these is to unhook them. If I can do it, you get the point. And then go down to the other brackets right here. Yeah, so that's what I meant. And then one of these pillows will just slide right in there. I'm not gonna lay on it right now, but you get the gist just because I don't have anything under here except for the brackets supporting it. But I really like the idea and it worked out really well. All right, so I leave to Atlanta for some work in two days. So today is like getting everything that I need done last minute. Um, I'm sure there can be, there's enough time for everything else to get done. The sun's right in my face after I get back, but I have to have these screwed in in order to have them screwed in, I need them to be painted. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint them white.
this is what it looks like so far. Um, we have to put trim in here, trim right there, and then I've got to paint the front of this. But let me show you how I put this in and then um, I'll show you like the rest of everything. But it folds up like this and I'm not really sure what I used. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'll have to show you um, in the description. There's a link in there to them, but I've got to stain it. And so far it looks really nice. We did paint the, we did paint these white, but I think it looks really clean with the entire, you know, style of the bus. There's going to be a bunch of colored pillows, you know, some more blankets, whatever. And then we've got over here, I don't know if I showed you, but it's not done yet because it's the only one, but it does roll up, da da da. And then there's a ribbon over there and it just folds up over that. And then there's a button right there. I'm out of breath, oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm so, so, so excited how it looks. I did put these in, just screwed the front ones in, made a hole for the back ones, uh, just cause that was too long and I didn't have a screw for it. But it held up pretty nicely. And then yes, it does drop down to a couch. Um, and I'm sure I will put in some photos for that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is finish the curtains, finish anything else that I need to do over here. But that's going to be after Atlanta. I've got to go to Atlanta with my sister for some work. And then I'll be back to do more videos, more things on the bus. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more. Justin built the toilet as well. We're gonna finish the toilet. It's gonna look really nice and then it's gonna go in the shower. Um, I'm super giddy, super excited with how things are coming along. There's gonna be a shelf up there. There's gonna be outlets in the shelf. We've got a lot to do, but for now, thank you for watching. Uh, if you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe as always. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section. All of the products I've used in this video are linked down in the description and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Shit or swole.